Hey guys, Wes here. So as you can see, my plants came in the mail today. Um, they actually came when I was at work, so they've been sitting in this box um, for about two hours um, since it got delivered. And now I'm going to open it up. As you can remember, last time I did um, a plant unboxing video, my camera was sideways and the quality was 144p pixels so I'm gonna this is gonna be a much better video than last time so as you, as you can see very well packaged in newspaper and it says caution planting packaging material under newspaper may contain fiberglass if you're allergic please use caution and then it also says acclimating plants in the winter time or summertime acclimating plants is very important you want to get the temperature of the plants as close to the temperature of the aquarium water, but slowly. Um, it says the best way to do this is leave the plants in the plastic bag and float them in your tank. Um, now, I don't think this is going to be a huge problem for me because it's midsummer here in Minnesota, and today was a cool day. It was about like 75 degrees, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. I'm just going to go ahead and open them right up. Now you don't have to be allergic to fiberglass to actually have it irritate your skin. Um, the fibers can actually kind of dig in almost like a really small sliver. So you want to be careful either way. That's why if you're ever insulating a house, you always wear gloves when you're dealing with fiberglass insulation. So I'm just going to try and touch it the least amount that I can. I can already feel that it's a little bit damp. Now I'm going to kind of pull these out and I'm going to discard the packaging material. Now on here it says one pot of dwarf hair grass, one order of Ludwigia repens, one Echinodorus pineal sword, one Hygrophilia cornboza, and then I don't know if I told you this or not, but um, the girl that owns this business, Heather, she emailed me and said that um, I would have to um, exchange some things instead of the flame moss because she said it, hers didn't look very healthy at the time. So I actually got two Anubius frizzeri plants for the goldfish tank and a small moss ball to go along with the medium moss ball that's going to go in the new five gallon. So those are in place of the flame moss. And then I also got Anubius nana petite and a medium marima ball, and then last is a pot of Hygrophilia cornboza stricta. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that's a pretty big order, and it's amazing how it, when you take plants out of water, they condense down a lot. So you can see this doesn't look like a whole lot in this little bag. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is the Anubius Frizzeri. I'm, I, I'm pretty certain that that's what it is. And then I also got, here's the Anubius Nana Petite. I think I might have just broke it in half, but look how tiny that is compared to my hand. It's, it's so cute and little. I'm, I don't even care if you're going to make fun of me, it is. It's really cute. I wish I could get this out a little bit easier. There. Um, here is another Nubius Frizzeri. So here are my two new Anubius plants, Anubius Frizzeri. Um, I've never heard of these before, but they look kind of similar to my Anubius Hostifolia that I have already. So I'm going to try and lay these down in the right direction so you guys can see them. This must be the Hygro. Um, it's kind of hard to identify them. This is the Hygrophilia Corumboza. Uh, yes, yes, that's what this is. Because that's a bunched, that's a bunch plant. Um, this is the Pinwheel Sword. Um, in the picture on the website, it was shown immersed. So the leaves went off in like every direction and made like a, a sphere. 
but these leaves kind of curve out a little bit anyways, so I really like that. I've never had a sword plant. I'm actually going to check my camera and make sure you can see all these plants lined up. Okay, you can. Move this out of the way a little bit. And then here is my Lewidia, and I don't know if they split the bunch up into two pieces or if she threw in two of them because I couldn't get the flame moss, but either way, it's a lot of Ludwigia. Um, seems to be about seven, um, 14, 14 stems. So I, th I think she actually threw in a second one for me, which is, which is awesome. I love this plant store. And then this is the dwarf pear grass. I'm going to pull it out from the bottom. It's a lot easier. This is the dwarf hair grass. One pot of that. That looks nice and healthy. And then last but not least is the Hygro Stricta or Compact Hygro. This is going in the goldfish tank um, as well because I don't have any small plants in there. This is really dense. You can see there's a lot in there. I have a feeling I'm going to get quite a few plants out of this. It'll probably at least five or six, I'm guessing. But I don't know, whatever. But definitely, is a, this is a lot. Now, I'm just going to kind of explain my experiences with Planted Aquarium Central. Um, this is only the second time I've ever ordered from them. But every single time, the plants have come super healthy and green. and the service is so good because it's it's a home business. It's, oh, there's my moss balls. I almost forgot. There's the medium one and the small one. Okay, but um, like I was saying, um, it's a home-based business out of Arizona. I'm not. I don't remember the exact city in Arizona, but. Um, she actually emailed me with her personal email when she um, had to talk to me about the flame moss, and that just shows how um, how they're such a homegrown business, and it's awesome, awesome customer service, and plants always arrive super healthy and awesome. Even when I ordered in the winter, I think last time they arrived perfectly healthy, and I've been really happy with both of my purchases from them. So definitely check them out, Planted Aquariums Central. Com. I actually have a link to that in my channel description, if, uh, if I'm not mistaken, and I also have a link in my banner on my channel. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to kind of um, get a spray bottle to keep these nice and um, damp, and I'm not quite sure if I'm going to do a sterilizing video, because you've already seen that, but um, actually, what the heck, yeah, I'll do a video for that. Um, so you guys can go ahead and click over to that video while I get ready, and I will see you guys in a little bit.